7, a frantic rescue in the freezing cold. Tonight, crews worked to free a 10-year-old girl who got stuck in a cement cylinder for hours. Action News reporter Julie Bonovich is live in Chesterfield Township tonight with the latest. Uh, and word on this young girl's health, Julie. Well, Dave, everybody's thankful. She came home about just before 10.30 tonight. Her parents said she has some minor frostbite on her stomach. She's doing well, but they and all the people who came out to help here today know that it could have been a whole lot worse. Some little girl comes walking down the road. She's screaming, my friend's trapped. Somebody help. Joshua Nuttles, who was in town from Florida, was snapping pictures of the snow Saturday when he heard the screams. I immediately came in, got my cousin Jeff. Me and him went out there to the field. The field is in back of this neighborhood in Chesterfield, near 24 Mile Road and I-94. It was around 4 p.m. when they found the girl in trouble. He took these pictures of emergency crews trying to free her. But when we finally found her, she was wedged between two pipes. They're probably about... 10 inches apart. I mean, she was wedged good um, right around the waist. 10 year old Maddie Quick and a friend were playing on top of these large drainage pipes, coated with ice when she fell off and fell into a gap between two of them. We tried to pull her out from the side, and I mean, it just, there was no budging. Nuttles knew the clock was ticking. It was going on 5 p.m., getting darker, and Maddie's bare skin was exposed to the cold. When she fell, I mean, her jacket actually came up, so her stomach was actually exposed for three hours. It was almost unbearable for Father Glenn Quick. It, it felt like it was, we were only out here 20 minutes, and then other times it felt like 20 hours. Emergency crews tried using the jaws of life and a large power shovel. After a couple of hours, they brought in a large heavy-duty truck used to pull semis. And finally, by 7 o'clock, it had wedged bags between the two pipes, pushed them apart, and crews pulled out Maddie. We have a wonderful outcome, and we're going to go home and spend the rest of the evening with my daughter. And Maddie's family, uh, her dad, saying that she's doing better, has that frostbite, but she wasn't feeling up to talking on camera. But he did say he wanted to give a big thank you to the police, the firefighters, uh, everybody who came out with their equipment to try pull her out. They're just happy that this turned out the way it did. We're live in Chesterfield Town, Joe Julie Bonovich, Channel 7 Action News. And Julie, it's great he came to see you and share her story, and we're so glad she's doing better tonight. Why are those pipes out there anyway? You know, that's a big question that a lot of people are asking, Glenda. They've been out here, people are telling me, in the neighborhood since 2006 because the contractor pulled them out because they didn't fit, left them there, never came back from them for them. So they say kids in the neighborhood plan it all the time. Uh, teenagers go back there, and they say police have been called out a few times because there has been some trouble. The neighborhood has this feeling they want them removed, and they feel like things like tonight could be prevented.